good morning and welcome to a very wet and drizzly episode of Choir Leader in a Kayak and this is episode 1919 I can't remember his name Paul somebody or other anyway I liked that song when it was once upon a time a hit um, so I look like I'm on the river and I am indeed sitting in a kayak uh, and I came down here today with all intention of going on the water and I was very excited and I'm all prepped and ready prepped and ready and uh, I've got in my kayak and I have decided that the river is too fast so I'm not going to go on so I kind of got halfway there and actually that is the theme of this week's episode it's about trying too hard and it's sometimes about accepting things with grace that we perhaps didn't expect that outcome but we kind of got to go with the flow and um, yes. So uh, how, how do I refer to that in terms of my choirs and singing? Well, sometimes when we have a performance coming up, we're trying so, so hard to learn those lyrics. We're trying so, so hard to put all those techniques in place that sometimes it just all goes horribly wrong and we feel really cross and we just want to get it right and we just want to get it right. And as a singing teacher, I can go through various methods and techniques and, and try all sorts of things to get the sound to change. And then sometimes I can say the simplest of things like, like, imagine you're in the shower and sing to me now and all of a sudden the pupil just gets it. Uh, I have had a really great week actually, I've been preparing a young student for an audition at the Brit School and it's been a really fascinating process, the two of us working together to make sure that she can go in there feeling confident, offering uh, the best version of, two, of a song that wasn't an, an immediate hit for her. And together we've picked the song apart and worked out what it is that she likes about the song and how best to deliver it so that she can give an audition that she feels really proud of. And so I wish her lots and lots of luck and I really hope the outcome is the one she's hoping for. And if it's not, she will have experienced something and learn something from that uh, episode in time and indeed time are just moments in time aren't they we are just all stardust and last night I don't know if any of you saw the beautiful moon uh, it was it was a new moon that was shimmering alongside Venus and it really felt like the most incredible guiding light. Uh, I walked to work at about 7.35 last night and I felt like the moon was walking along with me and it really gave me a, a wonderful sense of hope and a sense of anticipation that whatever we are planning or, or, or thinking about, sometimes we just have to have that thought that perhaps the universe will kind of guide us to where we need to be. Another thing I want to talk about is meringues. Meringues, they're really hard to make, aren't they? I remember one year I was trying to make some on Christmas Day morning. I was trying so hard and beating the living daylights out of these egg whites. And all I got was sloppy egg whites and no meringue. And I think it's the same with singing and with choirs and with learning new material. Sometimes we try so, so hard because we are just desperate for the thing that we think we're meant to have, the sound of the song that it should be. And sometimes I think we just need to ease off a little bit and go with the flow. And if the meringue mixture's gone wrong, throw it away and make jelly instead. <laughs> That's the joy of music, isn't it? We can start with one thing in mind, we can work together, we can have moments that are really shimmering and you can tell everybody in the choir last night, I could tell there were lots of tingles in the room and those tingles transferred into the sound, that collective sound that we're looking for. So if life feels like your dreams are being a bit shattered at the moment or your cooking's not quite up to scratch or indeed you feel like you're trying really, really hard and things just aren't really working, perhaps the thing to do is take your foot off the gas for a while, maybe go take a nice warm shower, maybe just leave things to the universe and who knows, something incredible might happen. Have a really lovely week. I'm really excited. One of my choirs is competing this evening in a festival in Richmond and we're just going to give it our best shot. It's going to be an experience. We're going to learn something new about ourselves and take that forward and we may win or we may not win. It doesn't matter. Have a super duper week. Lots and lots of love. <laughs>